Rahman Rahim in the name of Allah the most merciful the most kind put some gratitude into your attitude there is always something to be thankful for gratitude is a description of a successful mode of life the thankful heart opens our eyes to a multitude of blessings that continually surround us Allah says in the Quran if you th thank me I will give you more now today we will discuss uh, how to interpret clinical and laboratory data first of all we will look at the clinical scenario the uh, usually patient come to the doctor or pathologist to a clinical history there is history uh, of a 5 year old boy presented with puffiness around his eyes for the past week there is uh, urine analysis revealed 4 plus protein and there is uh, renal biopsy along with the uh, clinical history identify two morphological feature in the renal biopsy now we can see that there is no abnormality at light microscopic level uh, glomerulus cellularity is normal capillary loops are fine and there is no hyalinosis or fibrosis now electron microscopy uh, in this case would show uh, effacement of food processes on the right is normal glomerulus on the left is minimal change disease now considering the history young child puffiness around eyes 4 plus protein in urine which fall into nephrotic range oval bodies and renal biopsy unremarkable and responded to steroids now we can uh, make the diagnosis of minimal change disease now the next scenario next clinical scenario is about a 43 years old man presented with malaise and pitting edema of the lower extremities urine analysis revealed heavy protein urea only no glucose blood ketones or nitrite so the identify two morphological feature in renal biopsy and name the lien or diagnosis here you can appreciate the renal biopsy show thickening of the capillary loops so glomerulus show thickened capillary loops cellularity not increased no hyalinosis or fibrosis and this uh, case under electron microscopy show uh, sub epithelial humps so um, adult male heavy pro protein urea only thickened capillary loops on renal biopsy because uh, 4 plus uh, protein is uh, fall in nephrotic range so we can conclude our diagnosis membranous nephropathy next clinical scenario is about a uh, young girl who presented with lethargy and passing dark colored urine for the past week she is hypertensive and there is blood in her urine a protein and also there is history of sore throat so question is identify two morphological feature in renal biopsy name the lien or diagnosis here there is increased cellularity uh, of the glomerulus uh, hypercellular glomerulus leukocytic infiltrate proliferation of mesangial epithelial and endothelial cells and on, on electron microscopy there are neutrophils and hump like sub epithelial immune complex this is the summary of the post streptococcal glomerulonephritis so we combine the clinical data with biopsy report young girl presented with lethargy and hematuria history of sore throat edema high blood pressure protein urea and hypercellular glomerulus so we will diagnose the case as post streptococcal glomerulonephritis thank you for watching the video please subscribe this channel like and share and any comments should be appreciated.